Hello everyone, we're, we're in Timberley at the moment going to the New Japan Pro Wrestling King... No, no, <laughs> wow! Ooh. Messed up the... I'm so good at this! Uh, what's it called? Um, Strong Style Evolved, yes. And we're getting on a bus to Ultra Gym, which we haven't been to, but we're in Tipoli at the moment, I've never been there. She doesn't mind it. Finally at the event. My friend is laughing at me because I'm vlogging. <laughs> or at least I'm trying to vlog. There he is. Look at him! Look at him with his aerial assassin t-shirt! <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> no no no. Uh, is it is it King of King uh, King Style <laughs> King Style Evolution? <laughs> Strong style of all, and that's how it looks. Hopefully you saw that. What was the match again? Uh, it was... Duggan versus... Duggan versus... I think they're in the neighborhood. Great. Yeah. The great old car versus Duggan. I give that... A three and a half star. One ball! Elliot, what'd you give it? The intermission, if you can hear me. We just finished the intermission for uh, uh, Strong Style Evolved. And it's been enjoyable so far. The Osprey match was really good. I actually was surprised. I actually didn't know who Walter was. Um, but we now know who Walter is. And I now have more respect for Yujiro, uh, <laughs> the club's pimp. Um, most people were his voting for thing, but I kind of wanted to do it for both. I actually was enjoying Yujiro's thing. Uh, but other than that, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, so we're on an intermission in this season. That was way too close. Bolton. Uh, my voice is slightly shot and we've just finished up with doing the uh, wrestling event that we just were a part of and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed like I'll be honest with you I have only one other event to compare it to and that's the Smackdown event I went to like two three years ago now and in a lot of ways I find this one better because it's less I would say scripted but there was not really many promos there was only one promo throughout the entire event 
and literally it was just all wrestling like there was no there was no stops really most of it was done in ring all of it was done that was just happening just there so for me personally it was in a lot of ways better than the smackdown stuff i like i like i will admit like the one thing i liked more about the smackdown event was basically the crowds like memeing abilities i say uh, but basically their crowd interaction with certain things were um were different like for example the phone interactions with the eat up world stuff um so basically uh, to preface this a little bit um i did this in as part of a vlog two three years ago but if you t look at it it's basically about the wwe event i still have all the footage from it uh, so I may upload it here, but um, the idea was that it was uh, Undertaker's last run here in the UK, at least as in Manchester anyway. And this is the first time they did an event uh, where New Japan did an event here in the UK in general. And the only reason, I'll be honest with you, I got given a ticket to go. Thank you, Elliot, for the birthday present. Um, and we went and we were very lucky with where we sort of placed up because we were right in front of the ring, uh, about two seats away, really. If we were any further, we would ha he would have to have paid more, and we were very lucky that we picked the spot, we got the spot that we did, uh, because we actually could go straight to the ring, really, basically. Um, so, uh, so it's like prefaces, we started out with a few like a few matches, and I'll be honest with you, New Japan is not my strong suit. I do not know New Japan as well as I do other, as I, well as I do WWE. Let's be honest, but I like this show more than I did SmackDown. And SmackDown had way more sort of like gimmick, gimmicky type stuff going on. This was just a straight up wrestling match. And the reason why I like this so much more, I'm, and it might be because of the nicheness of it. It might be because that it's so, it's different. Like, you know, like you're fam I'm so familiar with WWE in a lot of ways that it's different when you go to a live event for a WWE show. But this felt more like a show that mattered. There was only, and... Um, every match felt big despite the fact that not every title was on the line um, I mean you didn't have people like Marty Skrull or like the elite people but you didn't need it like they were big on their own like every single cast member like I'll be honest with you I went there for Okada and this is when when the books where tickets were booked Okada was still the champion but this this time around um, Okada was not the champion and he, he was still big, like he was still loved. He went up against Zack Sabre Jr. and he he lost ultimately. But I got to see his stupid pose, his um his stupid rainmaker pose in real life, and it's just like it makes sense. But it's like, oh, he did the thing. He did he did the rainmaker. He did the he did the rainmaker pose. He did the rainmaker, and it's like, oh, you know what? That's actually really cool. And then uh, we, I had a so let's start from the beginning. So we, obviously you saw us from the beginning. We were inside, um, and the way that he worked inside was. Um, it was a fairly small rink. Apparently, it was the ice rink. You got boarded up, so that there's no ice anymore. And uh, the show itself was on the rink itself, and the rest of the, t the rest of the stuff was happening on top of that. Um, and then, when I uh, when we went into the first match, it was a young lion. I can't remember his name versus uh, Blue Justice, um, which is the first time I've heard of any of these two. And uh, luckily, Elliot was very good, kind enough to like keep keep me in the loop for a lot of things. Um, Blue Justice won, and it was a very good match because it was basically saying the Young Justice has got a lot to learn, but Young Justice was really good. Uh, Blue Justice was really good. Uh, the second match, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I believe it was the tag match uh, between Chaos and um, Suzuki Gun. Suzuki Gun won. Uh, we finally got to see a Yutaro who basically memes on every other wrestler. Let's be honest, that's his gimmick. Um, I was there for uh, Dragon Lee. No, not Dragon Lee. Um, uh, the other dude. The guy with the skull, I forgot his name. Uh, I think it's El Desperado. I think I forgot that right. Um, I only seen him from the Hiromu match from with Tanahashi, uh, with um, Hiromu versus... Um, I think it's Hiromu Takahashi, if I got the name correct, versus um, uh, Drag uh, versus El Desperado. Really like that match. It's fun. Uh, uh, Takashi Izuka, which is kind of weird for me to say because he's the same guy who runs Sonic Team, uh, but he's not the same dude. Um, it's the same name. 
Uh, he came in from the ringside and I tried to post a picture that I had. I tried to get a picture of him, but it didn't work out. So, but he just, all you see is this guy just biting into everything. He's just right next to us and like, oh crap. Um, so that was funny. And that was also very cool. Uh, and then the uh, first part, like I think it was like four or five matches. I know I'm missing a few. Um, because I can't remember the names, half half of them. But then no, it ended with the uh, no, it was Will Osprey versus the Green Aussie guy. That was the main event of the first part. Um, and then uh, we had uh, we had the Fatal Four Way. Then we had the Okada match, Okada versus um, uh, Zack Saber Jr. And we ended it with the Suzuki Gun versus the uh, Ishi match. Sorry, Suzuki versus Ishii match. And I really enjoyed all of them. Like, there was always something different going on. There was always something interesting there. The, the match and the, the story they were telling was very easy to follow. It wasn't, um, it wasn't safe in the sense that I was saying, like, it was hard hitting most of the time. And you know what? I think, I think that's better. As long as they, um, as long as they have enough, uh, ample time to rest up. I tried to, I tried to take some photos from where we were sat to give them more of an idea. I had my, uh, camera with me and I decided that you know what I'll try to take some uh, decent photos and there were some good shots that I got and hopefully um, It will be appreciated if not. Oh, well um, Hang on. I need to go toilet. So bear with me me um, I, So what was I saying? It was something about uh, Post-match so my for me like the biggest match I was caring about was the Okada match It was really the only one I kind of like was excited to see um and he went up against Will, uh, went up against Zack Sabre Jr., um, who was also part of Suzuki Gun. Although you kind of think Suzuki Gun, um, you kind of think Will Osprey and Zack Sabre Jr. are similar. They're not. Um, Zack Sabre Jr. is not a high fly. He's a submissive specialist, and um, Will Osprey is not. He's a you know he's a uh, aerial assassin as they call him. I really like his attire. His attire is always nice. Um, it was him versus Tai Chi, and Tai Chi won. And a lot of people were surprised by it because you think baby faces win, or at least the people who you know will win, like the the natives win. But they, you know, in the end, it was um, it was a uh, thing. It was a, it was a good match because at that point in time with the Super Juniors, um, he lost the title. He was already injured, and he's just gonna finish up his dates before he um, takes a break, as far as I understand. But he deals with his own promotion. And I was like, okay, cool. Fun match. Lots of little things happening, lots of little gimmicks. Um, it was just the fact that, I think it was more to do with the fact they played up the fact that he's injured. I'm not sure, because I can't, couldn't tell what the commentary was. It's one of the harder things when it comes to watching a promotion that isn't um, American or in English, is understanding how the commentary will handle it. Oh, uh, yes, that's what I remember. The uh, the triple fat team. Um, it was made up of two sides. It had uh, El Desperado, uh, who's part of the Super Juniors, and I can't remember the other two, uh, in Suzuki Gun, versus um, three of the guys from Thing, and one of them was Ghetto. And I was making jokes all day. It's like, oh, the, the thing I want to watch from an Okada match is always I want to see Ghetto always like make a big deal about being his second and being a big deal about being his his guy just so i can keep shouting come on ghetto it's your time ghetto in his voice or at least as best of an impression as i could do um uh, apparently this this match will be aired on new japan world but i'm not sure if i will appear in any form or shape uh with that being said the uh, that was one of the more things like we were, I was just cheering for ghetto like I didn't care. I was cheering for ghetto the entire time um, What else was there the other matches Ishimori Ishimori's abs are real like it's not already been said like he looks Slick like he looks chiseled. He looks the part like there is not a Word you can say he lo he's basically an Adonis like to that series like to if you compare him to everyone else, he looks like an Adonis. Even a okay, compared to Okada. Okada's a heavyweight, but he's not where near as chiseled thing. Um 
So we, I also got to see Tiger Mask Russell, which is actually uh, a funny thing because it's like I didn't really have an idea of who Tiger Mask was, at least not from a historical standpoint, but I've always knew who that he existed because of uh, Tekken and stuff like that. Uh, so I always heard of Tiger Mask, but never knew of Tiger Mask. And I got to see him in a match, which was great. Um, who else was there? There was also, I think, my the most interesting match. Uh, I think the Will Osprey match definitely stood out in the sense that it looked great. Um, there wasn't as many as aerial moves as he claims, but um, as there, no, not as he claims, as there was be. But generally speaking, it was very fun to watch. Uh, match of the night for me, it's a toss up between Okada and uh, Suzuki. Only because, and I say this very loosely, because I had the most amount of investment in those two matches, mostly because I knew more about who they were. Like, I knew who Will Ospreay was, uh, I knew who Ishimori was, but I didn't have like a following like I had with Okada and Suzuki because I've seen them before in other factions or in other matches or in other feuds. So I was happy to see um, uh, Okada's match, because like I said, I get to see the stupid Rainmaker pose live. And they had, like, and the, the match that we wanted to see, which was Minoru Suzuki versus Ishii, which is basically a hard-hitting match of two buff people, like two very strong people. That's it. Like, that's all you wanted from that sort of match. Like, you didn't really need... Like, the only thing is, like, Minoru Suzuki's um, grappling, actual wrestling, beat him, <laughs> as opposed to, like, pure brute force. So, it was very, very interesting. And then at the end of it, uh, it turns out that Suzuki Gun literally won every single match that night. Like, the faction Suzuki Gun won every single match that night. So, it was interesting. It was definitely different and it was definitely a fun day to be had probably will redo this but i thought i need to get it out of the way so at least i have it recorded and the rest uh so yeah so if you enjoyed that thank you very much for listening and i shall see you on the next one